New research has found unsafe building materials in tower blocks across Greater Manchester is costing residents hundreds of thousands of pounds and posing a continued risk. Almost three years after the fire at Grenfell Tower, it's understood almost 80 complexes don't meet safety standards, as Alex Bell reports. This is aluminium cladding and then this is polystyrene, which is combustible. And this is flammable, flammable material. Yes. Rebecca lives in this block of flats in central Manchester. But since the Grenfell tragedy in June 2017, she's been living under the shadow of her building's poor fire safety. There's an assumption that regulations have been there when, when it was built and there's been sufficient fire safety records throughout, so you buy in good faith. When she found out about the unsafe design, she tried to move out, only to be told her property was worthless. I can't sell unless I sell to a cash buyer at a ridiculously low price. Um, I can't remortgage. The results of a new survey carried out by the Greater Manchester High Rise Task Force, which was set up in the wake of the Grenfell tragedy, has found residents just like Rebecca are paying a heavy financial toll just for living in unsafe homes. And it's having a serious effect on their mental health. It's just a huge strain, um, the anxiety, Every night you go to sleep and you don't know if your building's safe or not. Um, it has a huge impact on hundreds of thousands of us. Next week, Rebecca and other residents will join the city's mayor, along with Salford City Mayor Paul Dennett, to lobby outside Westminster. They want the government to stump up funds to make these buildings safe and allow residents to move on. Just get the cladding down, get it off these buildings, because then people will have peace of mind that they are at least safe. I don't want my residents here in Greater Manchester to continue another nearly three years of this absolutely shocking turmoil that's transformed their lives, turned their worlds upside down. This is really not good enough. Alex Bell, BBC Northwest Tonight in Manchester.